getting my crappie jigs ready to go swimming this year. And I'm tired of uh, these, this crappy paint on these jigs. It's just real thin. You know, you're messing around on the boat or whatever, and, or you get snagged and it comes flying back at the boat and the paint pops off the jig head and got to get another head out. So I decided to plastic dip them this year. So this stuff here, it's about six bucks a can. Caps frosty because it dries frosty. There's no shine on these at all. So what you do to make them shine again is you get the glossifier, which is this stuff, and brings it up to a gloss again. I've got a finished one in the basement that I was testing, and I've had it soaking in a water bottle for a week, and no issues at all with the plastic coat or plastic dip trying to come off. Um, works pretty well, and. Uh, one thing I'm going to advise you of if you do try this is before you spray that plastic dip, cover these eyelets. Because that stuff is a nightmare to get out of those eyelets. It, it sticks to everything. Uh, the first set I did, I did not cover the eyelet. And I spent longer working on 10 jigs than I did taking little pieces of tape and covering up all of these jigs. <laughs> so cover those eyelets that'll that'll work pretty good for you um also if you do uh custom colors like uh you know that vinyl jig head paint's awesome but it's expensive and there's not very much in the bottle and it only comes in so many colors well what i usually do is i buy a a set of uh, lead jig heads, bare lead, and I either paint them with this stuff, with the paint and primer in it, and get whatever color you want. Always get the gloss. Or I do a fluorescent color, which is what these are going to be, and that's what these are. And first thing you do is you got to paint them white. If you don't paint them white, that fluorescent paint is not going to cover. It's just it's weird stuff. So you paint them white. You paint them with your fluorescent paint. And when that fluorescent paint dries, it dries to a dull finish, flat. You got two options. You can either do the clear paint, or you can go and do the plastic dip process, which brings them back to a gloss. Here's those jigs I was talking about that I did not cover the eyelets on. And that plastic dip is just a nightmare to get off. I've spent more time getting the stuff off of these eyelets than I did taping all of those eyelets on those jigs that are in process right now. But it's pretty good stuff. It's got a, just a thin rubber coating on it. Well, here's what I ended up with. And the tape on the eyelet did work really well. Pull that off and the eyelet's nice and clean. And then this is the one I've had in the water bottle soaking for a week. A little bit of rust around the eyelet there because it's just been soaking in water. But yeah, the plasti dip stayed right on there. No problems at all. <laughs> 